Hello. Hello. Well, we are live. We are live. What are we doing today? Hot sauce. Eating it. Drinking it. Do you eat hot sauce or do you drink it? We're bad at starting live streams. Yeah. Um, we are doing what we always do. I think this is part seven. Part seven? Man, we've been doing, it's been about a year of these, actually, of just doing hot sauce content. Specifically? Yeah. It's one of their continuous things. I think it's our longest going series. I think so. Uh, today we're doing 15 sauces, 15 new sauces, and they are, I think they are all grocery, grocery store purchases. Yeah, some just regular grocery stores and other ones are more exotic, I guess, or have more exotic products. But they're not bought at, like, hot sauce shops. Yeah. These are things that we found, like, in our neighborhood, essentially. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. Looks like there should be a lot of tasty maybe, ones. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can show you guys. Kind of, oh, ooh. my. Ooh. I'm trying. Oh, oh my. no. I was so wrong. Why did you do this? There's so many. They were going to see it. They believed you. They knew there was 15. I was trying to be transparent. But you thought they were just like pulling from a bucket or something? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Do so, you want to try one or you want to give it a minute? We can give it a minute. I could share this if you want. I can. I don't know. Go ahead. If you like. So as per usual, what we're doing is a chicken McNugget taste test. Um, as you noticed, my office is still not put together, even though we've lived here since January. Yeah. It's four months of me not finishing my office. But I, I'm trying. I, I'm, I'm doing my best here. Um, yeah, so what we're doing, a uh, taste test. So we're going to do every sauce on a McNugget. I don't know why that's the medium that we chose many moons ago. It's because we like McNuggets. It's because we like McNuggets. It's just an excuse to eat McDonald's, if I'm being very honest. But. But we're reasonable. We just got. Just the McNuggies. Just the McNuggies. Also, I feel like once you start something like this, where it's like, oh, we do this on McNuggets, you got to stick with that rating system. If we changed rating systems, we'd have to try every single hot sauce again. Who wants to do And that? maybe put them on, like, I don't know, a scale, a ranking. What would you call a system in which you would use to rank hot sauces? I don't know. Oh, this is setting you up for the, the website thing. What website? Doing the ranking, the S tier... No. <laughs> like doing a tier list. Yeah, that was the whole point was that you were setting me up and then I just completely ignored it. Oh. Okay. How about you burn, I guess, was it? You're the worst. <laughs> yes, we're gonna do a tier tier list. Don't know, we just, we're still trying to work out exactly how we're gonna set it up, what hot sauces we're gonna include, how we're gonna rank them in general. So that'll be fun. We also have another one that I have an idea for. It is a I bought a bunch of different Chipotle mm -hmm. hot sauces, and I'm gonna, I actually think I'm gonna do like a blind taste test. Give like a blind review, where it's like, this one I think is the best one, this is the worst one. You mean like blindfolded? Or blindfolded, like... yeah. Okay, we can do so that. Like I'm I won't, down with that. I'll have to guess which one it was, maybe even. So yeah. That'll be fun. It should be. You wanna try our first sauce? Let us try our first hot sauce. And now, we couldn't find a Scoville on a lot of these, if not most of them. So it's grocery store level. Let's just assume everything's under fifteen thousand. And I, I, I mean, you think that, but maybe not because there's some here that have ghost pepper in it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess not. So first one though is our Louisiana. Okay, there is the camera. <laughs> there's the camera. Louisiana How is the center? If this is, I don't understand it. Bone. It's okay. We got Louisiana hot sauce. Ryan's wanted to try this for forever. I like Louisiana style hot sauces. I had the crystal. I think we bought crystal a while back, and mm -hmm. it was it was quite tasty. So, uh, also Ryan likes to show you that we're being authentic when we say we're freshly tasting something, so he leaves all the plastic on. Yeah. Because he hates me. Because it's fun. This looks like fun to you. Yeah, I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm having fun watching that. There you go. There you go. Rip and tear. All right. Does it say anything interesting? No. <laughs> it says it's like one, it says like what, one drop does it. I, I don't think so. It's aged peppers, vinegar, and salt. Yeah. 
Three. I mean, I respect the simple ingredients. I do like Louisiana hot sauces. So this one is literally called Louisiana. It has the audacity to name itself after the hot sauce. <laughs> See, isn't it? It doesn't make sense. It's difficult. I'll give you that. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna gonna give this one a go. Let me give this the old. I shook it so many times. <laughs> okay. Sauce me up, bro. I'm gonna sauce us both up. It's gonna be very liquidy, just so you know. Oh yeah, that is liquid. Okay. That should be good, right? You want more? No, I'm good. You need Molly? Oh, just, just put it back so we can see it. Okay. That was the purpose of this today. Perfect. Okay. Okay. We are sauced. We are sauced. Here we go. That is a Louisiana-based hot sauce. Like Frank's, but no, leave it there until we're done talking about it. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. That I mean, we're on carpet, it would have been fine. Um, it's like a Frank's, but better, but also not spicy. Yeah, like you could paint that on just about any meat and it'd be good. It probably goes well with mayo, which is one of the biggest things for me because I make a lot of wraps. You do like making, he makes uh, mayo sauces out of everything. Most sauces are made out of mayonnaise, you guys know this already, but um. Yeah, he just adds a hot sauce to everything, and then it becomes a magical, like, sub-sauce for him. Yeah. It changes it. No, it's good. I'm not denying that. I just sound very tired because I'm very tired. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's a decent one. I don't know if it was better than Crystal. This perhaps? is better than Crystal. You think so? I would rank this above it. I don't, I don't, maybe I'll have to buy Crystal again and compare them. We may have to do a showdown of all the Louisiana styles. Oh my gosh. There's going to be, like, such subtle differences. It's gonna be good though. It's gonna be real good. So are, are we done talking with this or do I? Yeah, if we're done with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Decent. It's a good, it's a good, good. sauce. Good. Now this is one that we picked up at one of the more unique grocery stores. It is Cajun Sunshine by Try Me, I think is the name of the Where did we get that one? You want me to say specifically? Mm, tell the brand name of the place, I guess. Brand name. We got it in an Italian center. Oh yeah, we got it at an Italian center. Yeah. So it's supposed to have a spicy Cajun kick, but again, you can read the ingredients. You'd like to do that more than I do? I do. Is that thunder? That might be thunder and lightning. No, oh, I keep oh. sitting behind the camera and I don't know why. Um, <clears throat> we have vinegar, okay. cayenne pepper, salt, crushed red pepper, and xanthan gum, and a little bit of water. So essentially the sauce we just had, but with more ingredients. With the xanthan gum, which is more of a uh, thickening agent. Thickening agent. It says that it's got a really spicy kick. Maybe thicker is better? -er? I don't know. It says it's great on fish, poultry, in Cajun recipes, vegetables, soups, marinades, dips, and dressings. Not chicken, though, huh? Not specifically chicken nuggets? It doesn't say chicken nuggets. I don't think we're going to find a hot sauce. It's like, you know what I'm great on? Mc McDonald's chicken McDonald's nuggets. chicken nuggets, and that's it. McChick, what are they called? McNuggets. We call them chicken nuggets? Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess that's true. Oh, yeah. Getting there. Does it smell? We didn't smell the Louisiana one, but I imagine it just smells like... It just smells like every non like non-committed sauce. Is know? this like a bubble? That's a bubble, yes. Oh, cool. Yeah, popped it. Y'all ready for this? I am. The one that's eating it is ready. Ooh, it's one of those, huh? Uh, it's one of the ones where you gotta... Howler Monkey also has that. I don't think it's a good addition. We should design hot sauce bottles. We, we seem should. to... We... See, for ones that are this thin, use a squeeze bottle. Yeah, but then it's the problem with it, though, is like, look, you have the little pepper flakes in there. I just... Oh, I'm so sorry. But fun, cool. I mean... There we go. They can see the it clearly. Worst. Okay. Y'all ready for this? Yes. Clink. Clink. Hmm. You dare call yourself a hot sauce? Oh, that's even weaker than Louisiana. Wow. We got of... 100 Scoville's. There's I no think, heat. I think I feel something that resembles heat. But there's maybe not necessarily it could, heat. 
we knew that we weren't going to get super spicy. Spi we, 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 we were not going to be in Spice Town today. We knew that. We were trying to find Flavor Town today. And not like the Guy Fieri way. I just mean a land of flavor. You say, in a hot sauce. You say that with a French accent. Guy Fieri? Fieri? Yeah. Well, that's his name. People call him Guy Fieri? And yeah. that's not his name. Is that how he pronounces it? Guy Fieri. Okay. Listen to him in an interview when he says his name. And he's like, yeah, that's not... He's Italian, right? He is Italian. Okay. Put it on a flip flop. Anyways, um, we knew we're just looking for flavor today. I don't think this one's bad. I think it's very simple. It's versatile. They're right. You can put it on pretty much everything. It's got a little bit of sweetness, even though I don't think there's sugar in there. Yeah, it just tastes like a more laid back Louisiana. Yeah, it's less sharp. Less of that vinegar bite. Less Mary sharp. Get out. Okay. Yeah, it's it's okay. I probably picked the Louisiana because I want that a little bit extra kick, I guess, which I didn't, I wouldn't say that for any other <laughs> sauce. It's like, oh, I wish I had that kick like that Louisiana hot sauce. Um, I'd probably pick the Cajun. I think it was yummy. Okay. Okay, so Ooh. next one, we have a weird one. I... It's a Piri Piri out of Portugal. Did you get this from Portugal? Did we go to a Portuguese grocery store? No. Oh. This was also Italian Center. No. Oh. Okay, it is Red Hot Pepper. 35% red hot peppers, actually. Water, salt, vinegar, xanthan gum, uh, traces of sulfites. That's the reason why 35% is the reason I put it above these two. Because I thought it would be hotter. Hopefully it tastes like peri-peri. I, I really, what is hot peppers? Red hot peppers. Know. They should maybe be very specific. That could be cayenne peppers, I guess, but... Probably. Do you want to try a new plate here? Mm. It's getting muddled. Okay, we can do a new plate. What is this? Oh, what is that? Oh, you have to like take it off the top ring, maybe? Maybe just take it off entirely? Huh. I'll show you what I'm talking about here, audience. There's no hole. No. Just, I don't understand. Who, who does? This is, I mean, that's how they d deliver peri-peri hot sauces, I guess. I don't think you can screw it off either. Do we poke a hole in it? See, uh, it looks kind of like we're supposed to take this part off, or there seems to be some kind of. Oh, it says four on it. I don't know what the. Or it could be a nimale. That also does help. Is it coming off? Maybe it's one of those like medicine bottles. No, that part doesn't come off. Okay. I think it was just a poorly manufactured bottle. Maybe. So maybe it's like a medicine bottle where you have to kind of push down and then... Don't tip it over. You're going to spill it. I mean, I guess that's true. What the hell? Okay, well, he struggles. I'm going to tell you about our previous experience with Peri Peri. Our experience with Peri Peri has been Nando's Chicken Peri Peri Sauce. We got the extra hot because I'd had the hot... And I was like, oh, like, it's got some flavor. It's not terrible. So we got the extra hot because we were at Costco and we saw it. And it was very disappointing because it just tasted like lime juice. Like, literally just tasted like lime juice. Yeah. All right. I thought you were going to be done the struggle by the time I finished Oh, no, story. no, there isn't. Because what kind of, what kind of sorcery is this? Saboteurs. I, I, that's what I thought. Maybe you push it down. Maybe it's like the... Well, what is that? Ramune? Ramune. Ramune? Where you have to pu push it down. But there isn't anything on there that would indicate that. Also, if you push it down, what's it going to do? I, again with the teeth. Round two with the teeth. Put something squirt on me. Is it coming off? Uh, it looks like you're just eating plastic at this point. Uh, Watch it be something simple that we're supposed to do. We're uh, experiencing difficulties. We might have to just like put it in like a different bottle after we're done. Don't do this. Or, or do it. Wow, it's like an earthquake's happening. <laughs> Over here. It do 
does not want us to have it. Tell them about Piri Piri things in your life, honey. I don't know. Other than what you said about the Nando's. Which is funny because when I first had Nando's, I used to think it was really spicy. <laughs> but now, you know, things change when you have more hot sauces. Now you know better. Yeah. I don't get this hot sauce at all. I don't understand. Like I can, yeah, let's go let's see if I can look it up. Why does my Piri Piri have the number four on it? Oh, I've broken through. I have broken through. <laughs> this was ridiculous. So sorry. No ready, honey? Oh, I already pierced it. There's no going back. Yeah, sure, but I'm, I'm curious on how to do it in the first place. Oh, is there no answer to this? No, people are just saying that they had to use knives. Oh, answer. Okay, so you have to like use pliers to pull it out or something. Ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, I got. I'm getting gilly. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't know the term gilly? You know, like when the ha when people's hair was like this in the seventies. I thought maybe that was referring to like you were in water for a bit so long <laughs> that you have grown gills. <laughs> no, you just become prunish. Okay, so this looks very liquidy, much like the looks like a little very light. Not as dark as the other ones. More orangey. Yeah. Excuse me, this is taking forever. Do uh, you think this was worse than the, the wax seal one? Oh my god, the one that wasn't supposed to be open because it was an anniversary edition. We got one of the Blairs, so it was an anniversary edition Here. that was clearly not supposed to be opened that I had to attack with many a knives off camera. Many a knives. Okay. Ready? Oh, we didn't smell it. Oh, it smells bad. Ooh, it does, yeah. It smells real bad. Okay, go. That's heat, though. Tastes like I just drank salt. Yeah, kind of, actually. Tastes very buttery, actually. Buttery salt. Not a fan. I do not recommend. Yeah, I got nothing good to say about that. No, like, I have I nothing. To tell you. It's hotter than these two. It is... It is hotter, but it's... Don't buy it. Do not buy this sauce. Yeah, get, get the other one. Not worth your money. Mm -mm. Shame I, I, it. Yeah, you, you don't get to join the other bottles. You stay over there where you belong. Now, here's a brand that we've had before, but this is a different hot sauce. This is the El Yucateco. In our first ever uh, hot sauce video, I think we did an El Yucateco. We did the extra, extra hot habanero sauce. So we're calming it down a bit more. We're going to just have the... Regular chili habanero, so we'll see what that Not does. Not regular, this is a Caribbean. Oh. What's different about it? Well, is there a pirate's it's... coat or something? Ha, ha, ha. Water, habanero, pepper, carrot, salt, spices, pH control agent, which is just acetic acid, onion powder, uh, citric acid, xanthan gum, sodium benzoate, and potassium sorbate. We seem to be working with more ingredients here. El Yucateco is a hot sauce brand. This is what they do. This one I think we picked that up at the nice little Spanish grocery store. They're so nice there. They are nice people. I can't remember what I wanted. They were talking about tamales and she was so happy to teach us about them. Not Ryan. He actually eats them. I just, I don't know about them. I, I've had tamales like twice, three times maybe in my life. I thought, I thought you came home with some. I came home with some, some I like, yeah, once or twice, but... I didn't buy them. Somebody right. had made them and had extra. It's true. He gets a lot of food because he just comes home. Oh, I've just forgot. I have something in the fridge at the at work. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. That's fine. I don't know why, but they feed him a lot. And then he comes home with all this food. Yeah. That's okay. I'll take it. It's probably going to smell hot. Mmm. smells like a hot sauce should. Combination of spices. Ooh, it smells vegetable. sweet. It smells very sweet. Kind of mustardy. Yeah. Kind of mustardy, but there's no mustard. Yeah, it's weird. I'm gonna sauce you. This is your job. You may sauce me. 
Is this my job? Because I think I've done it the past couple times. Well, so that you can put it in front of the camera. Oh, you're losing sauce. You're losing sauce fast. Oh, you're putting it with the garbage sauce. No, no. no. no I, I, I think I narrowly avoided it. Avoided it. Throw that on your hot dog. Yeah. Nice, sweet. Kick at the end. All the things a hot sauce should have. This one is fun for the whole family. I mean, depends. Depends. We, 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 we've met people of very varying heat levels. <laughs> That's true. We have met some people who are like, ooh, that sriracha kills me. And I'm like, oh, you should not eat at our house. <laughs> I mean, it's building actually now. It's it's getting hotter. It is. It reminds me of when we tried the uh, habanero one like a year ago. It mm -hmm. started out where it was like, oh, it's a little sweet, and then it built. It's got a little bit of that smokiness. I really like this brand. I don't know why we don't own all of it. They're a good brand. Yeah, I they're recommend them. I think they're about six dollars a bottle. I'm really excited to try their Chipotle one because it's already smoky. So true. This is not. A challenge. I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys remember. I usually don't drink any thing for like hot sauce challenges, but sure. Normally, he likes to push himself to for whatever reason because <laughs> it's fun. You know, give yourself a little bit of a harder time because you want to hurt yourself. So yeah, pretty good. Probably yeah, it's the, good sauce. Probably Perhaps the best I'm... one we've had thus far. For a second, I was like, "Where's the other one?" I'm like, "Oh right." He got shamed over there. Got it shamed. doesn't get to be the other ones. Ooh, I bought you this one. Yeah. It's probably really bad. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Pepper Norths, I found out. The biggest reason is they like to use red wine vinegar. And could you please read the first ingredient, which is usually the most that is in that sauce? You don't like apple cider. This is red wine. Well, I don't know if I'm going to like... I don't like I don't like vinegar with taste that, that has other than just regular vinegar. Red wine vinegar. Onions, wild blueberries, red habanero, Trinidad scorpion, sugar oh, Trinidad scorpion. from wildflower honey, by the way, coconut water, lime juice, sea salt, garlic, white pepper. It is called Blueberry Plague. It's a 7 out of 10 on their heat scale. I thought you liked their uh, Stargazer. The Stargazer is their only hot sauce that I'm like, I, this is decent. We've had, I think, two other ones. Oh, no joke, which is a, a joke. joke. And, um... Mo Momento Mo de Marte. Yeah. Which is, eh. It's fine. I do like blueberry-esque hot sauces. We had... What was it called? Black Blue Bison. Well, Blueberry Hellfire, I think? Blueberry Hellfire, was, was which so was the good. best. It was, like, almost a dessert. I'd have that as a dessert. <laughs> yeah, well, if we had a dessert charcuterie board or cheese plate, yeah. I would put that on there. Or even breakfast. I actually had it for breakfast. Really? Yeah. Like, I'd have, like, a cheese wrap. Ooh, could you imagine that with bacon? Yeah, that would be probably pretty good. You wanna... I'm gonna grab them nuggets. No, we're already down a pack. I will pass you an empty pack of nuggies. Nuggets, I'm, a, I'm an adult. Oh, I thought, uh, I thought I was, okay. Oh, right, <laughs> you... you do you. <laughs> Ooh, liquidy, but also not that liquidy. I'll just have a little more so that's fair. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we're sauced. This one just smells like blueberry. I actually, the chicken nugget I smell more than I smell the hot sauce. I don't, I don't know. We're going to find out. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. It's like smoky sweet blueberries. Yeah. That's a pleasant surprise. Mm hmm They don't expect that. This might be their best hot sauce other than Stargazer. That's really yummy. Yeah. Thank you, Pepper North, for not always being trash. You know when to not also, be trash. I think that one was like eleven dollars. So I... it's not the cheapest on the list. But it's again, it's pretty affordable. Yeah, most of these are under ten. Under 10, and you don't have to pay shipping because they're your local grocery stores. Exactly. But yeah, that is decent. It's good sauce. And it's different than the other uh, blueberry or 
very hot sauces we've had. Yeah, you liked bison. I was not the biggest fan of bison. Bison was triple berry, and it was incredibly hot. <laughs> I think it was fine. But blueberry hell is probably the best one. Blueberry hell fire. That's what might compete with it. It's not as hot as blueberry hell, but blueberry hell fire. I don't think it can be beat in that category. Damn. It's good though. This is a good sauce. Worth your money. Buy this. Yeah, I recommend it. So, that kind of concludes. We're, we kind of have three parts to this. First part was kind of miscellaneous ones that we only have one off, one of, exact, pretty much. So, the other ones we actually bought in bulk of a specific brand. Now, the first brand we're going to be trying, which because I think it's going to be not as spicy as the next one, is Melinda's. This is actually a new addition to grocery stores. Yes. What did you notice them, like, a couple weeks ago? Yeah, I think so. And then I just like, I'm just going to buy all of them. Then they didn't have one in stock, and I waited, and then I got that one. <laughs> I've seen them on hot sauce websites, but never tried them, per se. So we're going we're gonna to try them. We're also going based off of their own, like, fire scale on the hotness. So we should be ascending through these five. We should be. So Whether there's five Melindas. There's five Melindas, yes. We don't have all the Melinda's, but the five that we have. We have what we have, yeah. So the first one, which seems to be the weakest one because it's a dim flame, is mango habanero, original habanero mango, I should say, pepper sauce. (laughs) Do do you like it called pepper sauce? I always find it kind of weird. Maybe it's them not saying hot sauce. Why don't you want to say hot sauce? Might scare people away. I guess. In this, we have mango, water. Sugar, carrots, vinegar, lime juice, habanero, tomato paste, onion, xanthan gum, salt, citric acid. Okay, so basic. Aside from mango, very, very normal. Yep. Um, I don't know what to expect from this. They say that they really like heat and flavor to go together. I don't think you find one where it's like, we don't want any of those. We just want, I guess, like Blair's and like original wands with their, like, the bomb. That's more so Ooh. like, ooh... Prank, bro. Um, this stuff says it's really good for glazing poultry and pork, and you know I like doing that. That's true. So maybe this will be my next... I wanted to make dirty chops, which is when you take Dirty Dick's hot sauce and glaze your pork chops with it, but I wound up doing a trough version, and I glaze them with, I think, just trough. And it was quite nice. That was good. Trough is good. By the way, you can use your hot sauces in more than just, like, eating hot sauce straight. You can cook with hot sauce. Just don't put hot sauce directly into a hot pan because you will aerosolize uh, burning hell for your eyes. Word. To your mom, we came to drop bombs. You get there. Thanks. Oh, it's a weird texture on the... Cap? Cap, yeah. Oh, it's one of these. No. No. Ah, It smells kind of sweet. It smells kind of like plastic to me. How many times do we shake a bottle? Shake the bottle, let your body wobble. Wobble? Waddle? Don't act like a snobby model. You just hit the lotto. Oh, I know that song. Yes, Eminem. A bad Eminem, but Eminem. How dare you? It's this kind of looks like syrup. It does look like a syrup. Very you. weird. Okay. Let us put this back in frame. Let us try it. <laughs> Clink. Clink. Oh. Mm. Oh, it kind of tastes like, like mango soap. That's like my first... That's what I first pictured. It tastes like sweet dirt. I like think of potting soil, the smell of that, with sweetness. Oh, I did not like that. It's not a good sauce. Then <laughs> we gotta eat it. By the way, we don't waste sauces. Even when we say we don't like them, we do use them up. We try not to be wasteful. I just, we just use it for like mixing with our chicken. Like I'll marinate the chicken in it. So yeah, we'll use, use a it. more overpowering sauce. It's like a filler sauce. Oh, yeah. You, I'm you, gonna shame it. Yeah, shame Shame. Shame. Now I'm very... Now I'm scared. <laughs> so next one is... We're going to have the jalapeno one, which I'm surprisingly hotter than that one, I guess. It's a jalapeno pepper sauce. 
I, I think I'm getting why people don't make jalapeno hot sauces. There's some kind of weird sweetness to jalapeno peppers when you make it into a sauce that I've noticed. If you pair it with a good smoky flavor like Smoke Show, it works out. I don't like Smoke Show. I loved Smoke Show. So okay. so it's up to you if you like the taste of these ones. But I think specifically to me, I don't I, I don't care for them. No, that's weird. There's something off about them to me. Jalapeno pepper, vinegar, salt, zip, and gum. Eggs. A eggs? Oh wait, sorry, no may contain. Oh, okay. I was like. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> nope, just those. Jalapeno, vinegar, salt, xanthan. Okay. Okay, now I need to shake it. Uh, am I opening it? Mm -hmm. Are you changing how we're doing this? Midstream? We had a system in place. Can you just do this to me? Throw me under the bus so they know that I can't open bottles <laughs> when there's pressure? <laughs> you did just fine. Oh, the light is fading. Yeah. We may have to institute a light at some point. Maybe. Trying to avoid the hot sauce that's already on the plate. We could just use a new plate. We could. For the next one. Yep, I can already smell it. You can smell that weird jalapeno. I like it. I, I mean, gonna... I don't know if I like the sauce yet. I was going to shake it like a third Honey. time. Honey. I'm sorry. I get, I get a hot sauce bottle in my hand, I want to shake it. Like shake, it's a Polaroid shake, shake. picture. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that bottle. Shake that bottle. Why is everything a musical with me? I don't know. Your life's a musical. I don't know. Everyone's life is a musical. Ah. I guess Why is this hurting my me. hand? Am I an old man already? You are an old man. Maybe because you're turning a... 27. 27. That's a bit old, yeah. Maybe we should have something like in Star Trek, but you have, we don't know what shame it, yet. Oh, we don't know. Yeah, sorry. I'm assuming shame, like something in Star Trek where they have to kill themselves at sixty. Oh. <laughs> but at like thirty. <laughs> On that note. Hmm. Kind of tastes like pickled jalapeno. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And there's like a sharp pickly kind of taste to jalapeno hot sauces that I'm not a fan of. Tastes exactly like the jalapenos when you put them on a Subway sandwich. I disagree with you. I love the pickles from Subway. No, I said the jalapeno. No, I said, why did I say pickles? Because we're, because we're just talking about dill. Okay. Uh, better than that one. I would not shame that one. I'll eat that one. It's good. I'll put is, that on this, cheese. This one is yours then. I'll tell you. It's good. Yeah, it's not bad. Garbage. Garbage. Hey. Oh, sorry. Okay, next one on our list is just their uh, original habanero garlic. Now, I like garlic. I also like garlic. Yeah. We have a garage that reeks of garlic. Because you're making black garlic? Yeah, I'm making black garlic in the garage. Or rather, I'm trying to. How long does it take? 40 days. Jizzle. As low as 30. Oh, it's low, okay. I mean, on my birthday, I might get to try some. That would be nice. Okay, this one we've got habanero, carrots, onion, vinegar, lime juice, garlic, salt, citric acid, and xanthan gum. So again, sounds very basic. Yep. Yeah. Maybe these are grocery store ones. You don't, they're not going to throw the complex ones at you. It's still one flame, so there should be the same spice. I should have said, I didn't point this out. I don't I didn't feel any heat with the jalapeno sauce. It was just yummy. It was hotter than that one. Oh, you think there was heat? Well, it's hotter than that one. I could taste heat generally. Even you think with... it's like around the Franks level? Maybe, yeah. So probably under three hundred Scobills. I mean but that's but also I'm very biased on this. Is it every time I take a sip, you feel the need to take a sip? Kind of, kind of, kind of reminds me that like, <laughs> hey, you're thirsty. Maybe you should take a sip. You're thirsty. Why? Because Eva's thirsty. Is, also, it's did like, I not bring my chair down before we started this? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Well, it's kind of like yawn. It's like you say yawn. It's like, well, now I want to yawn. Why? When somebody says the word yawn, it makes you want to yawn. Yeah. It's the physical act that's. Contagious, no. not the word. No, it is the word. They tested it on Mythbusters. 
I have no urge to. Yawn. Yawn. I'm kind of fighting it right now, actually. Yawn. It's, really? It's an actual thing. <laughs> it's an actual so thing. So weird. Yeah. Okay, let's just... Never heard of this before. Sorry to... to off the rail there, but... What, what do you expect from a live stream? Okay, this is not planned or organized, other than the hot sauce. I mean, yeah, we... Oh. We spend weeks organizing oh, for these. Oh, that does smell garlicky. It smells like my garage. Our, our garage, but okay. Unless there's something you want to talk about live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel like I have majority ownership over that space, because it's my tools, and also I'm the one who's going to use it. You just park a car in there. I mean, that's true. Not gonna disagree. This one looks like another syrupy one. You're shaking the whole again earthquakes. Well, just because like if I don't hold it, <laughs> like look, I'm I'm missing. Okay. I'm missing so much. <laughs> okay, yeah, now okay, I guess I guess you have the magical shaking ability. Yep. I'm a woman. I'm just good at things. Like this one, maybe maybe this could be redeemed. You ready, Melinda? Maybe you could redeem yourself here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Decent. Yummy. Not very hot, but very garlicky. Oh yeah. As opposed to the other garlic hot sauce that we got that was not that garlicky. You could pour that over a steak. It would be good over a steak. You could pour that over potatoes. Yeah, usually you, this is when like the heat would be building, but the garlic is building at this point. Mm -hmm. It's yummy. I would not call that a hot sauce. That's a garlic sauce. Yeah. Do but, they call it pepper sauce? They do. That is a garlic sauce. Still tasty. Delicious, I like this yeah. one. That would be a great use. Yeah, I can see a lot of different ways to use that. Yep. Yeah. No shame. No shame. What's the next one? The next one is original habanero extra hot. With two flames on it instead of one. I like how it says extra. Yeah, and it's just two flames. Mm-hmm. What do we got here? A hot sauce. Habanero. Carrots, onions, lime juice, vinegar, salt, garlic, citric acid, xanthan gum, which sounds identical to what we just had. I'm guessing that it is the same ingredients in different amounts. Of which one? The one we just had. The pepper? No. Or, sorry, the garlic one? Same ingredients, different amounts. That's my guess. They just added more pepper, you think? And less garlic, I think. Oh, that maybe it balance out quite nicely. We'll give us about 20, 30 minutes on this. We'll get there. Just watch you open it. It's like the Perry Perry bottle. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm glad that that stuff was awful. <laughs> if it was really good and I had to pour it out through that stupid hole I punched in it, I was going to be mad. That's just a weird thing to say about something you, you bought. It's like, I hope this... I'm glad this tasted awful. What? Where? Also, but where do we go from here? Do we just go back to like the hottest hot sauces? I don't know. I think we'll just keep trying sauces. I mean, yeah. as long as people want it. Okay, now I just shook it. Oh, I heard that, yeah. The urge is so, you it's don't there. Do it. You don't have to do it. Don't do it. Melinda's looking at me like, hey, shake me. No, you shouldn't shake. You shouldn't shake people. I hear if you shake a baby, it kills it. Don't this smell. Yeah, it smells about the same, but not as garlicky. Yeah, it yeah, just reminds, basic. Just reminds me of the uh, family guy right, joke. Let me do this. You're the worst. Reminds me of that family guy joke. What's that? Where they're at the funeral, and Peter's like, "I thought if I sh shook it, it would be, it would stop crying." I was kind of right. <laughs> Sometimes family guy goes dark. Okay, we all know this. Have you ever listened to how Dane Cook explains his comedy? No. It's like, yeah, I start in that dark place and I try to bring it to something funny. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. Most comedians start in the funny place and go dark. Flips it. Yep. Uh, excuse me, sir? I'm sorry. Okay, we're good now, right? We're good. Okay, let's try this hot sauce. Clink. Clink. Oh. Just basic. Kind of reminds you of that one. 
Which would make sense. Because it's... No, that's the main one. No. I don't like it. It's fine. I wouldn't spend money on it. Because it has that kind of soapy taste for some reason. I'm that not that getting one it this time. Mm. I mean, it's not and as... we have a little bit left, I'll just... No, it's just very meh. Mm, middle of the road. I don't like it. No, you don't have to, but I don't think it's a shame product. That's fine. You so, won't like, shame it. probably wouldn't buy it if I were you. Yeah. Unless you want something just really basic to just meh. But then again, you have these other hot sauces, which we've shown. So you don't have to. You don't have to settle. All right. I mean, don't be like me. Don't stuff. Don't settle. Oh. Madon. <laughs> Um, the next one, we're going to jump from two to five, and this is... Ooh, Bujolokia. Yeah. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Can you do that again? Bujolokia. Yeah. This is their ghost pepper hot sauce, so... I think it's actually going to be spicy? Yeah. I mean, the extra hot has a little bit of kick to it, so if we're jumping up three, I think there's a good chance of a bit of heat. We have habanero. Carrots. Bujolokia, which is also known as ghost pepper. Yes. Vinegar, onion, lime juice, salt, garlic, citric acid, zest, and gum. I like how they're all the same and they just like put one ingredient really prominent. There's a pepper. Hey, hey, it's a new sauce. Hey, Jimmy. Is it is it called something different depending on where it's grown? Even though it's the same pepper? I don't think so. Because what would be the reason to call it not a ghost pepper versus uh, Bujolokia? I think one sounds scarier and has better marketing, and Ghost. the other one just sounds like what it actually is called. Like, would you... Oh, what's it called? Scotch Bonnet versus Habanero. Which one sounds better to you? The Scotch Bonnet is more intriguing. And that's probably why it's marketed as the hotter one. Oh, are we... I guess I'll grab it. Okay, I got it. Okay, I just I really wanted to put it there. So I can just move it slightly. Yeah, you can pour it actually. Ooh, but unless it's one of those. I already shook it. I'm sorry, it's a habit with hot sauce. You can know you eat a lot of. Oh, that's so mucusy. Sorry. It just sounds like you and regular. <laughs> a regular food day. Um, you can tell how much Ryan eats hot sauce in the fact that he has instincts when he picks up a hot sauce bottle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Is that decent? That looks decent. We didn't smell it. That's fine. It smells like ghost pepper, probably. I'm smelling. Oh, yeah, that actually assaulted my nose. It's strong. Yeah. Hmm. That's a sharp hot sauce. It reminds me of 707 for some reason. Or 708. Really? I'm not getting that at all. It reminds me of 708, which was a great hot sauce by Big Fats. It does kind of like taste like they just threw in uh, ghost pepper <laughs> into their habanero sauce. It's not bad though. I like it. I, I don't really like it because it kind of you kind of first get the habanero and then this is very good. It becomes very sharp, the ghost pepper. And I really don't like sharp, I guess, when I'm finding out mm. for hot sauces. I do. It does climb in the heat though. Like this is... This is building. Think for your average individual. Somebody shop in a grocery store. This might be too much. Yeah. Uh, actually uh, spicy hot sauce in a grocery store. Yeah. I mean, it's not by any means like super painful. No. Uh, I'm not sweating over here, but if I were Actually, like, if you look at me, I'm kind of sweating. Are you? If I was like average Joe, the dad, who's making tacos, I wouldn't buy this. If you have an interest in hot sauce, which I imagine you do if you're watching this, go for it. And worth your money, I think. Yeah, this one's okay. Flavor-wise and heat-wise, yes. That flavor's fine. Okay. Are you excited to introduce our next set? I am. So we're done with the Melinda's. Melinda is gone. We're moving on to... Mary Sharp. Mary Sharps. Now, I didn't have the greatest experience when I first bought Mary Sharps. Mary Sharps. Yeah, we tried Sorry, Belizean Marie. Heat. Yeah. And it was... Eh. That was pretty eh. We bought a giant bottle of it, too. It took us a while, but we did it. So, yeah. But just from the Belizean heat itself, that one was incredibly hot. So that's why I think these ones are going to be on 
basis on general basis general basis I'm trying, to, I'm trying to say like the basis of this is going to be hotter than that one. The base level will be The base right. level. There we go. I had no idea where you are going. You know what? That. Hot sauce? It's been accumulating. It's killing me and my brain. Already? Already. So, we're going to go back to a garlic pepper sauce. So, that should be interesting. It's very colorful, I should say. Oh, I like her picture. She looks like a Nona. She does, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can show you this. Can I do it? Yeah. Oh. That was pretty decent. Yeah, you got it. Okay. What does it even say about her? She uses good stuff. Got it. Cool. This has carrots, water, oh, onion, vinegar, pepper. Just pepper. Garlic, lime juice, and salt. And that's a garlic one? I guess they just put a good... Well, I mean, gar garlic's like one of the last ingredients. Okay. We'll see if you can compete with uh, Melinda there, because Melinda's was good. Their pepper sauce here? Their gar garlic sauce. Their garlic one, yeah. Yeah, it was good. It was good. <sighs> oh, no! No, you did this to me. You set me up to fail. Only because I love you. Yeah, you usually want failure from the person that you love. <laughs> now, you think it's going to be one of those dumb Melinda ones? Maybe. Probably. I think Belize and Heat had it. No! <laughs> no! Oh, that's, that's very... Oh, that's like stinky. Yeah. Why are you closing it? You gotta pour. Because you want to shake it. Because <laughs> I want to shake it, boy. <laughs> At this point, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Either you're all, you're either with me or you're not. You're getting extra shake in hot sauce. That's what's coming out better though. Or maybe my pouring skills have improved last time since last we met. I think you're just more frantic now, so you're shaking more aggressively. Maybe. You can put more on them, just so you know. I think it's decent. Sorry, it's not good enough for you. Nothing ever is. That's true. I've learned that the hard way. Thank That is interesting. I would describe these the hot sauce as like vegetable-y mm -hmm. in the sense that it's like you can really get a sense of what like vegetables they use. Usually, it's in tomato soup. Yeah, I can see that. I put that in like any soup broth, to be honest. Yeah, like the garlic and onion are really, really there. Yeah. I would not use that as a hot sauce, but I can see cooking uses for it. Yeah, you could put that. In. Yeah, interesting. I don't think it's better than the other one because the other one is distinctly garlic, but this one. Why didn't you put it? You do this. Do this every time. You're the voiced. Um, in comparison here, where is the other one? Okay. This one, super, super garlic lovers garlic. Mm. This one, good to add to broths, I think would be good with most beefy products. It is. Might even be good to throw into a stir fry. But it's, it's so weird to have such a pronounced vegetable taste to a hot sauce. That's oh. good, though. Yeah. I imagine, because I think um, Belizean was also something similar, so... Belizean really tastes like carrots, if I remember. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Alright, so, not bad. Not bad start. So next, we're moving on to Pure Love, but pineapple habanero sauce. Pure Love. Yeah, looks, looks quite tasty. Let them look at the bottle first. Hey, look at all those cacti. Okay. Ah. Years ago, I saw a pineapple, got excited, and said, look at that cactus. Imagine my confusion. <laughs> but I'm excited. If, if Maybe the pineapple is going to be really pungent, too. Wait, what? What? Oh, right. This is the... I'm going to point this out just because it's on packaging, so I might as well. Mm. You'll If you read the bottle, notice it says, end gender-based violence and real man not hit woman. No... 
Real man N O H hit woman. Oh, I didn't. I didn't read that. I just saw pure love. It says, inspired by the U.S. Embassy in Belize, I'm proud to launch and support this special project to help com- combat gender-based violence in Belize. Okay. Sell proceeds of this sauce will go dr- to directly benefit victims of gender-based violence. Huh. So we did a good thing. So that's nice of Miss Marie Sharp. We did a good thing by supporting them. The ingredients of this sauce are pineapple pulp, water, pepper. Just a pepper or like pepper? Vinegar, like pepper? onion... Salt, lime juice, and garlic. Okay. I don't think this one's going to be hot. Really? It's got that pulp, though. Pineapple pulp. I made a hot sauce with pineapple pulp, if you remember. Oh, yeah. It you was need, super fresh. You needed some xanthan gum, but other than that. I needed some, I needed some thickener in there. Yeah. Maybe because some cornstarch would have worked. Maybe. Okay, so you just heard me shake it. Okay. Oh, you did this to me again. Oh. The hate you have for me in your heart. Thankfully, it was easy. Just open it, Ryan. Just open it. You got this. Oh, I did it. Trying to steal all the air in here? Or? Yeah. <laughs> Smells like pineapple. Kind of, yeah. I wish I had a camera showing his shake struggles. <laughs> I'm glad you don't. No sauce has come out yet. Okay, you you know what you do. One drop and it didn't hit a nugget. (laughs) Isn't it tough? It's thick. I like it thick. This is ridiculous, though. Yeah, you get... I didn't... Who would have thought just having, like, an open bottle was the way to go? Yeah, hot sauce coat... (laughs) Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Hot sauce companies. This. This is what... Oh, okay. This is what you want. Something like this. (laughs) Saves you all... Oh, my. You put way so... You put way too much. I was just trying to make it look even. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Okay. You you just... Yeah. Get all that sauce. Okay. Clink. Hmm. Hmm. That was fiercely pineapple and vinegar. Yeah. And it tastes no pepper. There's a bit of heat building now. That is a weird one. Yeah. Almost like a spicy pina colada. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I'd use it with. Pork, I guess. I guess. But yeah, it's just really vinegary at the end. Yeah, really vinegary. I'm not a fan of that one. I don't think it's bad enough to be shamed, but... It's I wouldn't de- buy it again. It's decent. It's okay. It's weird. I mean, I like it when people add new things to hot sauce. I like innovation in the hot sauce community. But I don't like this one. You're not getting shaped, though. Okay, so... Based on your reaction to that one, you're not going to like this one. This one is a grapefruit pulp habanero. Maybe it'll be good. I'm not a big fan of grapefruit. It's so yellow. It is very yellow. I wonder what makes it yellowy. I guess... Is grape, grapefruit's not even yellow, though. Is it a pink? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm curious where the color comes from. I do not know. I think it has to do with the yellow habaneros. We have grapefruit pulp. Yeah. Yellow habanero. White vinegar. Uh-oh. Onions. Salt. Lime juice and garlic, because every hot sauce has those same four ingredients. <sighs> Uh, are you watching me shake it? Yes. So I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess. The prediction here is that it's gonna be very similar to what we just had, but more grapefruity and therefore more sour. You want you think it's gonna be citrus rather than sweet? Yeah, it's, and I'm probably gonna like it less. That is my guess. That is a fair guess. Excuse me. Oh. Excuse you. Oh, that smells oniony. I like onions. Oh, I haven't made sautéed onions in forever. Oh, I don't like the look of this sauce at all. Oh, it's so liquidy. So liquidy and also just... It's yellow. It's not a good one to be liquidy. Yeah. Hmm. All right, Murray Sharp. Don't let me down. Oh. Oh. 
I like the smoke. Hmm. I was right. I was right. Oh. Do not like the grapefruit in there. It reminds me of the off-brand Cheetos. I don't know why, it just does. I like it. Okay, it's weird, because, yeah, I guess this will be yours, and I'll get the pineapple <laughs> one. No, did not like that. I did not like the combination of the sour grapefruit taste with the hot sauce and vinegar. That's okay. I don't know what else to say about it than that. It's fine. It's good-ish. Okay. Now we're going to... The last two ones are going to be the hotter ones, I imagine. Because these have already been hotter than Melinda's. I think that's safe to see, right? Yeah. Now we're going to jump up to Mary Sharp's Scorpion and Habanero. Who's Mary? <sighs> Marie. You can spell Mary like that. No. But you could. Okay. I'm going to tell you guys something that you might not know. My name is not just Eva. My name is Eva Marie. Like Marie. Yeah, but you could also spell Mary like that. Mary is M-A-R-Y. Yeah, but you could add an I-E. People spell their names differently. Did we just see... We just, I just saw somebody with a, like a name tag that had Rebecca with an A-H at the end. You can spell names differently. This is Marie. Mary. Why would you spell it as Marie and then be like, it's Mary? I don't know. Because that's... I, I, That'd be ridiculous. I, I don't know. Speaking of not knowing, I don't know what to expect from this scorpion pepper hot sauce. scorpion -ness? Heat, maybe? Probably Traces heat. of heat? Is, it, is there actual scorpion in there? Is the question. Scorpion pepper is the first ingredient. Oh, that's death. Habanero. Vinegar, salt, onion, garlic. Oh yeah, so that's just pure death. There isn't anything to dilute that death. This one might hurt. <sighs> and we have another one after that. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing on this one. You think No Wimps Allowed is going to be It's hotter? called No Wimps Allowed. I have to assume that that's what it, that's what it means. Uh, you watched me shake it. Did I? Did you? Mm-hmm. Did anyone? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it smells hot. Mm hmm You're shaking the table. It's bright red. The color of spice. We yeah, pretty much. Just waiting for one of those blobs to hit one of us in the eye. Yeah. Give it a fair amount. That's a fair amount. Yeah. Thought maybe you were making a comment that I didn't put fair amount. No, I think it's a fair amount. Here, blink. Now this one. It's so salty. Sure, but here's the thing. I'm gonna bring this one back in this frame as a example so see the problem the, the thing good the good thing about this marie sharp one is that it starts off with a habanero and it's slowly the how the um scorpion takes over whereas this one the melinda's you have the habanero at first and then like it's like a quick detour to the scorpion it's like a high jump a sharp contrast this one's spicy by the way Yes, this one builds a lot better than Marie, so I think this one is better in general. Honey, why do we always only bring one beverage up? Because <coughs> I should have inhaled. Excuse me. Excuse me. But decent. Are you leaving? I'm getting water. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> the next one's supposed to be spicier. I don't want to die. I've lived a long life. Yeah, I recommend recommend this one. Scorpion's good. <sighs> Hope everyone's been doing well. I know I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bring up the new one while she's doing that. So this one's called No Wimps Allowed. And by name alone, I'm assuming it's gonna be hotter than the Scorpion. Look in the ingredients. I'm gonna guess I was wrong. I'm just curious on what makes it no wimps allowed. <laughs> Maybe you can tell me why this is so gonna be so incredibly spicy. Capsaicin? 
Dude, I miss Captain. Yeah, so we've got <clears throat> red habanero peppers, white vinegar, fresh carrots, salt, onion, tomato puree, lime juice, capsi capsi I can never say capsicum, garlic, and spices. Oh That's no, fine. no! It's an extract sauce. No. <sighs> and for people who aren't aware, when something is an extract sauce, it increases its heat level by a crazy absurd amount versus a natural hot sauce. So, I mean, it, bur it burns. It burns. Well, one thing. We're going to have to come back in about two to three minutes. I promise there's no trickery going on here, but we are going to have to be back and smack it, okay? All right. Okay. So now that we've tried all the hot sauces, what would you say is your favorite one? Ooh, I mean, we're missing one still. We haven't done the whips <laughs> oh, oh. oh, We could have just said we tried it off air. We would have been fine. I think they would have known by the fact that we wouldn't come back crying. That's true. They do like our tears. Everyone likes it when we cry. Okay. Did you eat a nugget while I was gone? No. We have 15 exactly, so they gave us an extra nugget. Oh. <laughs> you, are you I thought we had 14 <laughs> sauces. No, I think we have 15. 15, yeah. They gave us an extra. Thank you, McDonald's employee. I don't want to do this. It's okay. going to hurt. Since we have to wait so long, we're going to reshake it, and that's fine. <laughs> Shaking going. Why do you have to shake them so aggressively? Why you need all those ingredients mixed, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Again, if I had a camera on his fingers, it would be great. Okay, that's enough. We do, we, we don't need to die. So, so it looks like a crime scene. It does look like a crime scene. Okay. Not appetizing. Not at all. Okay. Remember, dear, no wimps allowed. I'm a wimp, though, so I'm not allowed. I'm dipping extra, because I'm a crazy man. I'm a mad man. Thank you. For you. No. That was disappointing. Give it a second, maybe. Kind of building. Feeling some heat. Nothing insane. 
I think the scorpion was hotter. Yep. This that was a letdown. Whew! I'm glad it was a letdown. Okay. It yeah, was I mean, fine. It's fine. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. Kind of garlicky. Yeah. It's it's hot. Not insane. Yeah. It's maybe just a little bit hotter than like the grapefruit and pineapple. Yeah. Hmm. So strange. Indeed. What was your favorite sauce of the day? Let me just blow my nose real quick. You know, As the, we have to say in every video, Ryan has really bad allergies. He ain't got the Rona. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to pick two, I think. I'm going to pick these really? two. Oh, you remember when for like the oh, last wait, not month this one. you've been telling me you didn't want the blueberry flag? I did say that. These two, because I really like the garlic one here. And the blueberry one is surprising. And then I'd probably pick Louisiana as my third. Just because I like Louisiana hot sauces. Now, which ones would you pick? Mm, El Yucateco. That would be my top one. Oh, really? Yeah, that's good. I probably like the extra hot one more because that has more smoke to it. That is really smoky. Okay, worst hot sauce. Piri Piri. Tasted like garbage. Uh, but this one tastes like soap. Dirty garbage. By this one, he's referring to. Oh, sorry. To yeah. This one. Yeah. It was like dirty soap. Uh, not great. No, not great. But hey, 13 out of 15 is pretty good for a liking standard. Yeah, most of these ones are okay. And actually, surprisingly, we got a lot of heat, more than I was expecting from a grocery store. You want to split a nug on the best sauce? Oh. How? <laughs> Rip and tear. I guess. Okay, I'll sure. I'll let you pick your favorite sauce of the day. Ooh, now I have to pick between... Okay, I'm going to pick... Oh, I'll pick the garlic one then. The garlic one will be the one that reigns supreme. So these two are our winners today. They win our approval and praise I and mean, recommendation to buy. I think all of these are under $12 Canadian in store. Yep. This was a very affordable video, if you were wondering. Yeah, go buy these. They're delicious. Oh, I thought we were just going to do yours. Okay. We can have our each favorite. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I did. Oh, look at this open bottle I have. Oh, I'm so jealous right now. Okay. To hot sauce. Clink. I'm an animal who can't eat in public. You just threw the Kleenex box, by the way. I did, I know. I, I yeeted it, oh. as, as they say. Ta-da! 15 sauces later, only one of them tried to kill us. A lot of deliciousness. You should see our fridge, guys. Damn, this is not gonna fit. Yeah, one day I'll take a picture of our fridge, but like, you know how like there's the door, and then there's all the shelves? Yeah. Yeah, the first two shelves are just hot sauce in our fridge. Yeah. Just hot sauce. We added a third shelf. <laughs> we only have three shelves. We're just gonna pour those ones out, right? No, we don't get rid of our fossils. We gotta use them. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. We're gonna have more hot sauce f content in the future, so watch for that. I don't know why we like hot sauce so much. It came from a, hey, we should try some hot sauces, and then this is where we are now. I think we've safely gone over $1,000 in hot sauce this year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tis a problem. Tis indeed. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with us. I have been Eva. He has been Ryan. If you guys like this kind of thing, let us know in the comments below. And uh, we will see you next time. You good? Bye.